say it's a uh, drop link replacement tarp. Mm. Uh, they don't look that worn actually, but I think while I'm here, I'm going to give it a go. Obviously, the car's jacked up. Um, there's chocks on the back wheels, handbrakes on, all that lot. And as far as I know, the main nuts are 17 mil. Well, they are on the replacements, but they're not on this one. Let's try 15. Yeah, all right. So that's 15, and I can see about as much as you can up there. I think I'm going to take the uh, spring protector off so I can see what I'm doing better. Right, I'm going to put you over here, and hopefully, my gorgeous uh, GQ model style face will be perfectly framed. Right, brace yourselves, sit down, uh, get a strong drink, because I'm about to say something you won't hear me say very often. <clears throat> Are we ready? I've given up. I have, as I've got older, one of the fortunate things about getting older is you tend to know when to give up. When you're pushing a bad position, do not advance. So yes, the drop links. Great bits of kit by the way, discount NG Rover Spares. Uh, I stuck a link in the last vid. Now then, I said you needed to cut the threads down to get them in. I didn't get so far as even removing the old link. Depending on what car it is, these are either very, very easy to do, like, like Ford Focuses and stuff, a piece of piss. Um, but the one on the 75 seems to suffer for the home mechanic. Bear in mind there are exports, ex, ex, exports experts out there that are going to be laughing at me for this. But know when something's a bit much for you that includes anything in life basically but um, in my younger days if i was struggling with something like this i would literally carry on till i broke something which then <coughs> means you're probably paying out two three four times as much because someone's got to rectify your cock up you've got to buy new parts again right the issue i can see with this anyway the actual reason why i've given up is because how this is situated at the side of the shockage absorber is, which you'll see on the previous little bit of video. Um, this is very obviously very tight to the shock, uh, as it should be. Um, but I could not, for love nor money, I haven't got an angled enough spanner ridge to reach this nut. Now I noticed the ones on the car were 15 mil. These replacements are 17. That's fine. That's not even an issue. But. <laughs> I can now understand why you need to cut a thread down because I, I offered this up um, to the like the shock side and what have you, and this thread as it as it is will actually hit the spring when it's done up. It was it would physically hit the spring, so I, I can understand why some people chop this down and. These are 50-50 when, when you're fitting these, they're always 50-50 whether this will actually spin. Um, there's an, a keyway for an Allen. All right, Alan. All right, Eddie. That's a whole different story. Oh, fuck it, I'm going to tell you it. <laughs> My dad used to have a workmate called Alan Heath. And he was a nice bloke. Uh, alone, I've never married or anything like that, not that I know of. But he was... <laughs> Even though he wasn't a big bloke, Christ, he had hands like shovels, feet like continents, and my dad used to give him a lift into work, because Alan didn't drive or anything like that. Lived in the same village, so it wasn't a problem, and my dad used to chudder about him all the time. And when I first started work, my dad used to give me a lift into sort of the next village from where I worked, and I walked the rest of the way, um, which was fine. It was uphill both ways, 12 miles. But uh, every time this Alan got in the car, fuck me, he nearly ripped the door handle off. He, you know, this this slammer car door and there is slammer car door. He'd leave because they worked in the stone masonry and concreting and stuff like that. Um, fuck me, he'd um, like the passenger footwell. 
uh, looked like the remnants of an extremely aggressive Bukaki party half the time because Alan had he'd walked cement in and all this lot and it was mainly dust, cement dust, you know. But yeah, I can remember once I was sat in the back of the car, I think it was old, it was a Renault 20, which was a beautiful car, it was lovely. Um, and he got in, he shut the door and he ripped the handle straight off the door. How my dad never killed him, I don't know. All right. So yeah, so Alan, eh, morning edit. Uh, bless him, he's long since died, but he, he, were, he was one of the village characters. But um, yeah, so you've got two options. You, you've got your flats here to stop it spinning, so you can spin the nut on, or you have an Alan, morning edit. Oh, that's just going to go on me forever now. Uh, that you can stick an Allen key in and, and hold it while you do it. Once they start to pinch up, generally then they don't move. You can just gorilla the nut. But yeah, I give up because I cannot, for the life of me, get a spanner on this top nut. I tried turning the steering both ways and all this lot, and it's it's just how the nut sits that I can't get uh, the spanner on it. I just cannot get hold of it and even if I did I've got no swing room you need sort of an angled set of wrenches or something like that or even easier just take the shock off just pop the shock off and do it like that I'm not prepared to do that uh, because I've got plans for Rosie as and when the dosh is there and some dosh should be coming my way because I should get a fairly decent streak of work soon and it's a pretty good rate as well my plans are i would love cruise control on rosie as far as i'm aware it was never fitted to that car i'm pretty sure the loom isn't there i'm not 100 percent on that but i'm pretty certain so i'd like to get cruise control retrofitted i'd also like uh, an engine tune like tom tom force seems to be the guy to go to and on the forums and all that like he's got his own page on facebook as well a support forum for 75s and zt's such a helpful bloke nothing seems beyond him to be honest um and i fucking hate people like that you're too helpful no i'm joking uh, it's nice that there's people like that in the world that help mongs like me so what i should probably do is just book a weekend in lempster whatever get him to do the drop links I'm thinking of new springs so I may as well just have new suspension all around and just get it done with um, but yeah I'd like cruise fitted and I'd like his one of his engine tunes as well because for 180 quid for the different make it makes apparently they're good and I may as well have a transmission flush and stuff while I'm there just like book it in have a whack of work done I can have a weekend in Lempster or a long weekend whatever and give him time to get it done or I can leave the car there it's it's not a biggie either way so yes so today I have given up mainly because I'm not sitting with the car struggling all day getting frustrated the chance of me breaking something when the chimp come Eric the chimp comes out is high because I when I get frustrated I lose my rag quite quickly even if it's somebody pissing around and I'm not in the mood, I will lose my rag. But other than that, I'm, I'm pretty much way more chilled out than what I used to be. Way, way more. So, yes, I have admitted defeat on that. So, it is, it's a how not to video. So, yeah, so I've given up. The only thing I really loosened up were the road wheels. So, they're all tightened back up again and, and she's back. They didn't feel a massive amount of play in there um so the knot could be just something like sway bar bushes i don't know uh but we'll get to that when we get to that anyway guys it's pride of longbridge today and as you can see i'm here i'm not going um and mainly because i'm skinned um but i think that i might be there next year with rosie i think i think that's probably on the cards it'd be a nice sociable day out I can meet other YouTubers like Roverman Paul and people like Tom Force will be there. Um, Tom will be there with his gold Rover 75 and that's basically who convinced me by watching his videos to get Rosie. 
Um, so it's his fault. Um, so yeah, so hopefully I'll be there uh, next year. And you know, the subscriber numbers are slowly creeping up. So thanks to everybody that's subscribed. I don't think we're ever going to be massive, to be honest, do you, really? I mean, I know a guy who's been on Facebook 10 years and he does some pretty epic content. He's actually a biker. He's a really nice guy. And um, he's got a fair, he's, he's never exploded onto YouTube, you know, not like one of these fucking TikTok twats that puts, I don't know, chocolate mousse up their ass. I don't know. I don't follow TikTok. My stepdaughter sends me TikTok videos occasionally, which are quite amusing. Um, but one of the ones that I keep seeing get suggested on Instagram and stuff like that, it's just like life hacks. Some of these life hacks, I mean, how old are these people doing these life hacks? Because they're fucking stupid. I'm sure you'll agree. Some of them, there's probably one in every 200 that's, you think, oh, that's quite useful. But it, it's almost like they haven't been brought up or learnt anything, you know. It's like they've never been taught to use cutlery because they, they're cutting up fucking jar lids to make spoons. And I was like, I'll just get a fucking spoon. Anyway, <laughs> before I go on a rant, enjoy your weekends. Um, and uh, yeah, that will do for the next one then. So I am going to post this video as a fail. So the title, as you've probably already seen, will be drop link fail, something like that. But yeah, they'll get sorted eventually. At least I've got the parts, the good quality parts. And one of the Rover specialists, whoever decide to use, uh, it could be Jules, it could be Tom, whoever. Um, at least they know we've got quality parts to work with instead of like shite off eBay. So yeah, so that's it. Enjoy your weekend. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Um, have sex with a Kestrel on top of an old TV set. Whatever you want to do, I'm not judging. Right, see you guys. See you later.